Hello there, so uh, let's talk about some personal thoughts. It feels like modding has changed. Not necessarily the content of mods or the value of mods, but rather the way the community views and handles modding as a whole, or at the very least how I view it. There's a couple reasons I believe could have influenced these slight changes, so uh, well, first, let's establish a starting point. Speed ranking a map more than two years ago was a controversial choice. Even if a map was acceptable, it was still viewed in a negative light because it skipped over the modding feedback stage of the ranking process, and that modding stage is intended to make a map higher quality. One of my first mapping videos was a response to this community perception on speed ranking, wherein I advocated for speed ranking because I believed, and still do believe, that experienced mappers don't need as much time nor as many mods to make something worthy of rank. Like, compare this map before and after receiving mods from 7 people. Each change is pretty minor, and even with them overlaid on top of each other, I don't think you'd be able to tell which variation is from before mods or which was after. As cocky as it sounds, I think I have experience creating rankable maps, and so mods that hugely affect the map's design are kinda rare. The message I wanted to send in that old speed ranking video was that, instead of forcing unnecessary mods on acceptable maps from experienced mappers, modders should try to help those who need mods more, the new mappers who are practically lost without any guidance. I doubt the video is much of a factor in it, but the community now has destigmatized speed ranking a lot more than it was in the past, which isn't bad exactly, but that modding attention hasn't been redirected to new mappers any more than it was in the past. It instead seems that people just care less about mods in general, and I can't blame anyone for thinking that because I've followed the same path. It's been like, over a long period of time, a gradual shift in what mappers and modders consider normal. Feeling useful is important to modding in my opinion. If it feels like there's no point to it, naturally nobody would want to mod, and the peer review aspect of the ranking system would fall apart. That said, me from a couple years ago thought that modding maps from new mappers would make for the most useful mods and proliferate the system, but I don't think I fully thought that through. Modding maps from new mappers means you'll probably improve a map, and a new mapper may hugely appreciate it, but it might not feel as useful because it's so rare to see the result of that effort. The majority of maps I've modded from new mappers end up progressing nowhere and a good portion of their creators end up quitting mapping or the whole game, meaning the mods on their maps feel like they ultimately affected nothing and that I just wasted my time. So even if a mod from an experienced mapper wouldn't be anywhere near as helpful as a mod for a new mapper, it can still feel useful because that's how it plays into the ranking process. Generally speaking, maps from experienced mappers have like at least three mods from different users before beatmap nominators are contacted. This makes each early mod for an experienced mapper's map feel like a step towards the goal of ranking. By vaguely contributing to this goal, a mod can feel useful despite how much it affects a map, and when a mappy mod ends up getting ranked, it can be a source of satisfaction. It's a feeling like, yeah, I helped a map get along in the ranking process, I did something. Which, again, doesn't happen to me when modding maps from new mappers, at least not in such a satisfaction satisfying way. I'd also argue that this is why modding as a beatmap nominator can be so rewarding. Every mod as a BN can feel useful because, after a mod, you can directly push a map closer to rank. Having undergone a situation where I was removed from the beatmap nominators at one point, I can say for sure that modding a map then not having the option to push it forward made it feel like my mods were substantially less worth doing, and that's why my modding activity lowered. Anyway, I have some cynical views on modding, sorry. The point I'm trying to make here is that even if modding is not hugely beneficial in all cases, for the ranking process and its intended design to work, modding at a minimum needs to feel useful. With fewer experienced mappers seeking out those three or so initial mods nowadays, modding as a non-BN can feel less valuable. While that could just be a change in the social dynamic on Osu or something like that affecting me, I'd also link it to a few modding system changes that I've heard some other mappers feel similarly about. When thinking back to the days of forum modding when speed ranking was frowned upon, there was a community enforced pressure to get mods on a map. Checking a forum thread and seeing a nomination immediately below the map's upload post felt like a blatant slap in the face to everyone who put effort into getting feedback, leading to rage-filled map threads. As of November 2017, forum modding was replaced with beatmap discussions, or modding v2, leading to a different view on mods. 
and I mean literally. Modding v2 is by default not chronological and is much more spread apart, with mods being sorted according to what's relevant. While this is a good thing for understanding where mods apply, I think it also led to less of that pressure to mod. It's not immediately clear how many mods a map site has received unless you're looking through each difficulty or clicking each line of the events page. And unlike in forum times where nominators expected X number of posts that earned kudos before checking, there is no expectation for how many resolved issues a difficulty should have, especially because this combines difficulty specific and general resolved posts. That said, speed ranking is kinda less in your face, so it and ranking maps with minimal mods happens all the time now without notice. Less people commenting on this reduces the community enforced pressure, I think, making mods feel less important to the ranking process and ultimately feel less useful. Adding on to that, the sorting of mods may be helpful for a mapper, but it can make tracking mod responses a bit of a pain. In the forum modding days, I'd mod maps and subscribe to their threads. When a response came, I'd get an email linking directly to the post, and in one place, I could see a response to everything at once. In modding v2, that convenience is gone. Email notifications lead to the general discussion page, so half the time I don't even know what new post I'm being notified about. Then if I want to see responses to each of my mod posts, I need to do tons of maneuvering between tabs, so I just don't. Without the convenience, I choose not to subscribe to map threads or check all mapper responses, which I think has made me stop caring so much about what I write while modding. And the last straw for this change to my views on modding would have to be what seems like the least important one, kudos. It still exists and still has no practical use, but it was at least meaningful as a statistic on user pages before modding v2. Someone's earned kudos count was like a sign of their modding experience, so I checked this part of people's user pages to get an impression of their modding activity and how much time they've spent doing it. Then, just like the community pressure to get mods, part of what made Kudos feel like a valuable stat was how heavily it was moderated by the community. If a forum post earned Kudos without meaningful content, its Kudos was denied. Ringating's background modding queue was a good example of this. In the time before Waifu2x and widely known reverse image searching, a lot of people needed help making their low quality images into suitable backgrounds. This guy made something like a modding queue for editing and improving background images, earning him more than 100 Kudos, until people took notice and his posts were denied. Kudos after modding v2 has become a weirdly misrepresentative stat without meaningful moderation. It's hard to interpret experience from this user page number because someone with a thousand kudos today could have the same experience as someone with a hundred kudos in the past. There's been talk of changing this since all kudos stats before modding v2 are still stored, but it's hard to say if or when it'll be put in place. And in modding v2, policing of kudos is also near non-existent now. Thousands of posts are spread out on map sets that can't all be moderated at once, and anyone is able to give a post kudos now rather than just the map's creator, meaning there's no accountability. While nobody expects kudos to be useful, losing its community importance via moderation and its limited use as a stat has made me care even less about modding. It feels like a once relevant aspect of the modding scene isn't worth paying attention to anymore, and without that attention, modding loses some of its value to me. These are all personal concerns with the modding system in place. Lots of new or less experienced mappers are likely unaffected by what I'm talking about. I'm also sure that not everyone feels this pressure change, and I understand that criticizing a work-in-progress system isn't too meaningful. Though I still think that some people I've seen relating to these concerns may have led to this slight shift in views, making modding feel less vital than it was more than two years ago. For the ranking process to work as intended, I think modding needs value, yet it seems like the ranking process is leaning more towards going going straight to 2 map nominators now, compared to the past. But regardless, I do think modding under modding v2 could move in a better direction than the forums ever were, with some essential things fixed or made more convenient. What I'm not sure of is whether the community pressure valuing mods will ever go back to its same state. Really, that may not be an issue for experienced mappers considering what I said about speed ranking at the start of this, but it is… well, it's definitely different. And that's the most conclusive thing I can say without blind speculation, so I'll end it here for now. These have been just some scattered thoughts I've had on modding. Hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.